Oh my gosh. Woohoo! Whatever this is, is the best fish I've ever fought on light line. I'm on four pounds. How is it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Benji Kim Fishing and today I'll be sharing a personal best 22 inch spot fin croaker that I was able to catch using 4 pound test and sand crabs but before I share the video I want to share with you how I was able to catch this fish and to be honest with you when I caught this fish I actually have no idea why that fish decided to bite my sand crab. But in hindsight, I was able to review the film and the video and see some possible reasons as to why I was able to have success in that moment. I was actually skunking that first hour while my friends Greg and Terry were tearing it up. They were catching fish after fish after fish in one little spot. Terry must have caught four or five fish in a row consecutively and Greg was catching a couple as well and I was maybe 30 to 40 yards north of them skunking, not even able to get a bite. So check out these screenshots of where we were fishing and, and you'll notice a riptide and this is exactly where Greg and Terry and his family were casting into. They were casting directly into this little pocket while I was maybe 30 yards north of where they were standing. Now if you see the next slide, you'll see what I've illustrated, what I think was going on. The tide was coming in, and as it was coming in, it was churning from both sides into that little riptide. And what's happening here is bait is kicking up, and it's flowing directly into that rip, and then there was a strong northbound current through that trough. And so what I believe was happening was the bait was kicked up and centralized into that rip current, and that current was carrying that stirred up bait northbound. As we were fishing, Greg and Terry kept on catching fish after fish after fish and as they kept catching, I kept creeping little by little closer to them wanting to get a bite too. At the time, I don't know why I got bit but looking back in hindsight, I believe this is why I got the bite. I was extremely fortunate and lucky to have a fish this kind of caliber decide to bite my bait at that time. It was total luck but I'll definitely take it. This fish actually took about 15 minutes to land and dragged me about 150 yards north of where he first bit. Thankfully, I was able to get this guy beached. Oh man, I was so stoked and super grateful even to this day that I was able to get that bite. As always guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tide lines. Dude, Dude there's a crazy hole here. Dude, you guys are freaking on, fi on fire. Oh baby! Oh baby! Woo! Oh shoot! Oh baby, this is a good one guys! Woo! Oh man, it's been waiting uh, five weeks for a bite like this. I was right in the shelf, um, had a nice soft shell on. Greg and his wife were just destroying and I was buying a bite and nothing. And I tossed right after Greg's wife caught one. Um, she was retying. I was able to uh, cast right into that spot. And uh, oh baby, I just want to see this guy. But it's going to be a minute. Oh my gosh. This guy's still sucking up drag on me. Um, I got head shakes for sure. I got head shakes. So it's not a ray. He was coming in for a second, but he's going way out right now. Oh my gosh, this guy is sucking out drag. I saw him splash the surface, uh, but man, this guy is. Dude! It's not a ray, I got head shakes! Five weeks for a bite like this, dude! Oh baby, please! I'm 
I'm making a plumb ground on him right now, uh, but it's gonna be a minute. I still haven't gotten eyes on him. Um, this has got some weight on him for sure. I'm hoping it's a spot fin croaker. Um, it's kind of fine. I've only caught one of decent size before. It's kind of fighting like a spot fin croaker. Oh, there he goes. He doesn't want to come in yet. We're running back out. This might be his third wind. Oh my gosh. Um, I've never fought a fish this this feisty um, in the surf. So whatever this is, is the best fish I've ever fought on light line. I'm on four pound test, guys. Four pound fluorocarbon. Uh, I'm about... 100 yards from where I started. Um, this, there is a strong northbound current, but this thing has sucked me uh, well over a football field. And uh, he's not slowing down. Um, I would love to just get eyes on this guy. Uh, I've gotten flashes of him. He broke water one. I saw his tail come up a little bit, but this is his, he's made three runs. He's coming in right now, but he's. He's close. I just want to see him. Come on, baby. Dude, he's right here. Oh, it's a huge spot. The spot fin croaker. Oh man. Let's see if I can bring this guy home. Wasn't expecting him to come in on that, but I wouldn't have complained if he did. No, 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 no. No boy, no boy. He's tired. Oh, oh baby! <laughs> I can't even hold him! <laughs> yes! Oh, dude. I'm done. Right there. Right there. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, baby. What is it? The it's spot thing croaker. Spot thing croaker. 22. I'm gonna do my best to get a good photo with this guy. Oh my gosh. 